Hi you YouTubers, this is Superman G, come back at you one more again. And in this video, I want to talk to you about digital copies of movies. Now, this can be uh, any movie that the uh, movie industry or movie producing company has deemed to have a digital copy of. Not all movies will have a digital copy, however, most will. Uh, I do my best to try to get as many uh, copied platforms of a movie as I can, meaning, you know, a, a DVD format, <clears throat> Blu-ray, uh, digital, you know, I try to get as many as to have that redundancy in case, like if I lose internet, I'm not going to be able to watch the digital copy version because that's on uh, the internet. So if I have Blu-ray or if I have the DVD version, I can still watch it at home locally and I don't have to worry about waiting for my internet service to come up. But for those of you who have always wondered or even have wondered, well, what is this digital copy and, you know, what does it mean? I'm going to talk to you about that and how to go about uh, using that or even redeeming that copy of a movie so you can watch it on the internet or on your wireless devices such as your computers, your laptops, your tablets. You can pretty much watch this on any mobile device. So I'm going to bring up a program uh, website uh, called uh, Voodoo, but I want to show you something first so I can get you familiarized as to what it is that I'm referring to when I say digital copy. Now I'm at Best Buy's website and here's a movie uh, Men in Black Trilogy 20th Anniversary and it says it includes digital copy and that's what I want to look for when I'm looking for my movies that I wish to purchase. So if you see this and you're like, well, what is in what is the digital copy and, and how do I use that? This is just an option. Not all movies have this, as I've said before. So if you're looking for the digital copy, then make sure that you look for this in the title of it. If it's not there, sometimes they usually have it in options to where you can get either the DVD version only, the Blu-ray version only, or they'll usually have Blu-ray DVD and digital copy versions all in the set. But what happened with me was I actually ordered the Men in Black, the, the very first Men in Black movie, and I saw that it was available for digital copy and I ordered it. But when it came in, I ran into a bit of a problem, especially when I tried to upload the digital copy of it. And the problem that I ran into is now, this is a separate movie that um, I'm, I'm setting you up for, just an example. Uh, this movie is The Last Starfighter. And whenever you buy a digital copy of a movie that you buy of a store or even Amazon, uh, you're going to have this insert that is inside the case. And it tells you the three easy steps to be able to redeem the digital copy. Now, this code is long since expired, so I'm not worried about bl uh, uh, blurring it or, or obscuring it from the, the screen here. Uh, you will see this authorization code. This authorization code will allow you to go to your digital media streaming uh, website. In this case, it says go to universaldigitalcopy.com slash large starfighter and follow the instruction to get your ultraviolet or digital copy. Ultraviolet is no longer being offered anymore. It's, it's long since expired. It wasn't doing that well. But now you have Voodoo. And I'll talk a little bit about that more later on. But this code is what you need in order to get your digital copy. Without that code, you can't get it. But the problem I ran into is when I got the movie Men in Black, I looked at the code, I went to Voodoo to redeem it, and it had expired. And sometimes they'll tell you right down here that the code is valid until such and such date. In this case, this one did not tell you that. This one says ultraviolet and digital copy redemption code subject to expiration. And then you have to visit NBCUcodes.com for details. But now they have it to where they actually give you the expiration date of when the code will expire. So if you get a movie that has long since been released out on DVD or Blu-ray or even digital copy, there's a good chance that code will have expired. 
So that means that you kind of wasted your money on buying something that you can't even use, right? That's how I felt. However, I came across something and I just didn't even think about it and I had it all the time and just never utilized it. This is Voodoo. Voodoo is a website where you can download and, and watch any movie that they have in their system. Uh, they have movies that are still in theaters. They have movies that are, uh, you know, uh, in the past. Uh, they go way back. I think they go all the way back to the, to the 50s. I'm not exactly sure, but they have really, really old movies. But I've been with them since uh, 2002, I believe it is. And they've been a very, very good media streaming uh, service. You can uh, download those copies and watch them on here. Now you do have to create an account. Now the way it works is Vudu, you have renting and you have purchasing. So you can rent movies anywhere from $3 to $6. Uh, you can buy movies, sometimes they have sales. Uh, sometimes uh, you can actually buy a movie that is actually still, or, or rent a movie that is still in a the theater, such as this movie, Stillwater. And it says it's theater at home, so that means that it's still in the theaters, but you can rent it in a different format, whether it's standard definition, high definition, or ultra high definition for these prices. As far as I'm concerned, it's still cheaper than going to a movie, unless you're a senior citizen where it's like you might only pay $12. But in any case, they have this option for you to be able to watch these movies at home. And up here is where you will redeem your digital copy or voodoo code if you get a movie from Best Buy that has a digital copy version of the movie that you're looking for. Now, you can redeem it on here, but if you come across a movie that has already had an expiration date or the expiration date has already come and gone for the, 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 the voodoo code or the digital code, then Voodoo has something that's called Disc to Digital. And I'm going to try to bring that up for you so you can see what it is that I'm talking about. Right now, I've mirrored my phone to my computer. And what you want to do, what you want to do is you want to go to your Google Play Store or iPhone Store, rather. And you're going to type in the search bar. You're going to type in Voodoo, and it should come up. Now, I've already installed it on my phone, so that's why it's saying open. But uh, once you find it, you're going to hit open and install it, or install it first and then open it. And when you do that, you're going to come here to the main page. You're going to have to sign in. Make sure that you sign in. Make sure you've created an account. Creating the account is free. There's no charge for that. Once you've created an account, you've signed in. You're going to click on these three little hash marks to the left of where it says home. And then you're going to go down to where it says disk to digital. It's right here. And you're going to select that. And disk to digital says scan, convert, watch. So it's going to scan the barcode on the case that the movie came in. And once it scans it, it will then ask you about payment. Now, that's one of the things about this that it's not too bad. Usually they charge you between two and five dollars to uh, convert your movie from this to digital. With that being said, also know that in order for this to happen, the movie has to be or has to have a digital format or a digital copy. If you just use a regular DVD or a Blu-ray disc, it will not work. You have to use one of the um, discs that has the digital copy version. And once you proceed for the payment, whether it's two dollars or five dollars, it doesn't usually it doesn't go any higher than that. It's going to be between two dollars and five dollars. 
once you make your payment and the barcode gets scanned, it will get added to your collection of movies in your Voodoo account. And once that happens, you will be able to go inside your Voodoo account, whether it's on your mobile device or whether it's on your computer or even your smart TV, and your movie will be available right then and there for you to view. It's kind of an interesting way that they do this and I like it and that's something that I just learned so even if you get a, a digital copy of a movie and the, the the code has expired you can still come to Voodoo Movies and scan the barcode and you still get your digital copy of the movie so I hope this helps you guys out you all take care be safe and peace out